What's up, YouTube? What's good? How y'all doing? Doing good? That's good. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. New Year is upon us. We got a couple more days, so make sure to keep grinding, keep hustling. Write down your goals, get ready for the end of the year, get ready for the beginning of the year, and continuously be patient and consistent in everything you do for this next year, right? It's a big year, so keep grinding. For the tutorial today I got going on, I'm really, really excited for you guys to see this one. Came out dope, the cut's sick. Um, my guy is a Syrian, but he's a little different. Usually Assyrians have dark hair, dark eyes and all that, dark beard, he's got red hair, but it's pretty long. Um, he kind of reminds me of Andy Dalton's type hair, also with a Johnny B style, because he's got like a nice pump, you know, slick back, flows really nice. It's a mid fade with a drop in the back, it looks really good. Um, so I'm excited for you guys to see this. So let's get on to the tutorial. We have another tutorial going on today. I am spraying water on my client's hair right now so I could evenly section the hair off so that everything's in place where it needs to be before I start the fade work. Now I have my one and a half guard on my cordless seniors. Blade is closed and I'm just clearing off bulk. Next, I'm using my gamma trimmers to go ahead and put that bald guideline in. This is a mid drop fade with no arches. So I'm starting from the bottom of his vertical bar and taking that straight back and dropping it as I go to the back. So after bald them out, I'm going ahead and going in there with my shavers after. As I get to that bowl line, I am flicking out and kind of using it to fade so it's not too harsh of a line. So now for the first step is the half guard completely closed and I'm going up about a quarter inch. And after I do that, I go ahead and open up the blade a little bit more halfway and go up about another quarter of inch. And I keep working that up. Now I'm going to open the blade completely, go up another quarter inch. Now we're moving over to the one guard and same steps. Completely close at first, then we open up halfway and then all the way open. Also, when you're doing this, make sure to keep the blade flush to the head and don't be digging in. Now we're moving over to clip over comb. I am using the motive comb and we're just taking all that bulk off, keeping it flush to his head and keeping that squared look. After we finish up clipper of a comb, there will be some dark spots that we have to attack and we'll grab our one guard open as we do right about now. And we'll just use the corners and flick out just to blend all that in. And as you can see, it's starting to blend nice and evenly, but there is a little line at the very bottom, which we come back in with our clipper closed and just tack that line, go up a little bit halfway, tack a little bit more and go all the way blade open. And keep using you know, corners and flicking out. Next, we are moving on to the beard. Like I said, when I'm on one side, I like to do the beard as well. So he did like to cut down his beard to a number three. So I'm clearing off all the bulk with a number three. And then I'm going to repeat the same steps as I did for the fade, but on the beard. So we're going to do half guard, closed, then halfway and then all the way open now we have the one guard closed then halfway and then all the way open and after that we will go ahead and grab our two guard and blend that into what we had previously of the three on the whole beard lastly we go to the blade closed halfway and then all the way open and that will pretty much bring everything together now that the fade work is all done we'll go ahead and line up the back of his neck Take it straight down and we'll go ahead and line up the front hairline and the vertical bar. Also, you don't have to push the hairline back or anything like that to get a sharp line. Just follow his natural hair pattern and just take off the minimal hair just to get that sharp line. It's better to take off less than more. Now we're moving on to the other side. And I'm going to take a section from the corner of his forehead and take that straight back so that I have that extra length in there. So when I do a clip over comb and I go to do my scissor work, I have enough length there that the hair will flow nicely. 
because if you take too much hair off then the hair won't have anything to sit on we're going to repeat the same steps i did on the other side on this side i'll let you guys sit and watch Now moving on to the beard, I'm combing the hair down, putting my initial guy line in the middle of his beard, and then I go to his right side, and go a little bit below where his jaw is, and I connect that to the middle of that initial guy line. I go to the left side, go right below where his jaw line is, and connect that to the middle guy line that I previously created. After that, go ahead and comb the hair back down so that any hair that's hanging over, you could go back over and clean that up. Take a step back, look at the whole beard and see what dips, what doesn't look even and go ahead and just reline. Now move on to the mustache. I go ahead and use the comb just to keep the mustache in place while I line it up. I do line it up right above his lip. I go ahead and comb the hair in towards his lip and away from his lip and take away the excess bulk so that there's no hairs going in his mouth while he's eating or anything like that. Same process as when we move to the back. Go ahead and connect everything from both sides. Usually when I'm fading in the shop, I don't do, you know, the left side, right side, and the back. I usually do everything simultaneously, but just for tutorial purposes, I do break everything down so you can see it three different times. And this fade technique that I actually have right now, I learned that from Migs the Barber. I feel it's a very simple and effective way to fade. Blends do come out very nice. Really easy to remove that bald guy line at the end, as you'll see in, when it comes to it. After you fade out everything, go through all your steps. You know, the one and a half guard closed, and then back to the half guard closed and work that lever all the way open. And then the one guard close and work that all the way open and then clip over comb you're left with a very faint line at the very bottom and it's very simple to take that out all you got to do is close the blade flick at that line and then slowly open the lever just to blend into that half guard that you had closed i do use a lot of corner of the blade 
may look like I'm using the full blade, but I favor either the left side or the right side depending on which way the hair is growing. If it's growing straight down, obviously I go up with it. If it's growing more at an angle, I turn my clipper and go against the grain at that angle so that I'm getting a complete even cut. This is where I'm talking about where I have the blade completely closed and I'm working at that bottom line and slowly open the lever as I need to as I get up higher into where I had the half guard closed. Now we're moving on to the clipper over comb, following the same thing that I did on both sides, keeping it even, make sure I'm keeping it all symmetrical. I do notice that one side was a little bit off, so I do go back over and start detailing and fixing that so that I get a nice even flow from both sides. After all that, I do like to switch over to my scissor over comb. I'm using the wide tooth part of the comb just to really blend into the longer hair. And I'll switch over to the finer side to really detail and to get that blend nice and tight. Moving on to the top of the hair, I'm wetting the hair, getting it nice and saturated so it's easily pliable and I can move the hair and do what I want with it. I'm taking two vertical sections to the back of the head for the middle section, I'm keeping it about two fingers width. I'm taking that section from the occipital bone, keeping my hands parallel to his head, keeping it nice and vertical so that I keep that square look. I'm gonna cut whatever is hanging over, and then I'm gonna bring that up. As I'm bringing it up, I'm keeping being, making sure that my hands vertical and parallel to the head. I will continue to follow that all the way to the front of the head. After all that, I will comb all the hair to the right side. And then I'm gonna take a section in the back just to do some horizontal block graduation to blend that all into the clipper of a comb. Now I'm taking horizontal sections from that first section I made in the middle of the head to the right so that I can cut the short hair that I made from that middle guideline to the side. So then I have an even cut. So I'm taking horizontal sections. And I'll have another angle that comes up up here and that you can see it more clearly. You see the long hair, cut on the long hair into that short hair. So as you can see, there's the short hair and I'm cutting all that long hair. I continuously do that all the way to the front. So I have a nice even cut. Here I'm just making sure that everything's even and square. Follow up with scissor of a comb just to make sure, again, it's all even and you have a nice transition and not too harsh of a weight line or anything like that. As you can see, everything's flowing nicely, but we have to go ahead and do the left side. So here I'm taking a little bit of section of the right side and bringing it over to the left side and again taking horizontal sections and repeating the same steps. As I do this section you can see where my previous guideline is and what I'm cutting off to make it all even. Now I'm just cross checking my work, make sure everything's even and that if everything flows nicely so that when I blow dry, you're going to see how nicely everything's flowing together.
Before I do any blow drying, I like to use the Elegance Oil Serum. It smells really good and it protects their hair from heat damage. I would go ahead and rub that all in throughout their hair so that when I blow dry it, it gives it a nice polished look. As the hair is drying up, you can see everything's coming together now. The hair is flowing. You can't tell me that doesn't look like Andy Dalton and Johnny Bravo in one. After blow drying, I always like to go back over my work, do a little clipper of a comb or go through my scissor work just to make sure everything's even and as perfect as it can be. Now we're gonna line up the beard using some Barber Bond Shave Serum. Stretching the skin and using the heel of the blade. This first pass, it's usually just the rough draft, but just to get the line up where you want it to be. Go ahead and comb through with your comb and just clean off all the excess and then reline it up again. Also, make sure to be cautious of any blemishes. Whenever you're lining up, just be cautious of that. Just so that you don't nick them or anything like that. Also, have a very light hand and let the blade do all the work. Having them blow a bubble in their cheek helps even the surface so that when you're lining up, you get a nice straight line and that you don't get any curves or anything like that in the line. Here we go. We got the finished look coming up. We got a matte product putting in his hair. Then we're gonna follow up with some matte hairspray. And I'm gonna use my favorite comb, the wide tooth fishtail comb, just to give some separation in the hair and have a nice flow. And phew, my dude's looking good. YouTube, that's the cut. There's the before and boom, there's the after. Fades on point, hair's flowing. The beard is on point. Shout out my cousin Timothy for the beats. I'll tag him. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, all right? Catch you guys on the next one.